Um, oh man, I'm so excited to talk to you guys. First off, I love the Pentaverid so far. Not only has it made me laugh, but it's so educational. I had no idea dolphins could queef. <laughs> Uh, it's it's oh, something it's, that I've wanted people to know for years. I love, I love the fact you started with that. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, Mike, I have to tell you, every year since I was in high school, I've dressed up as one of your characters for Halloween. Uh, Philip the Hyper Hypo Boy, Dieter, Wayne Campbell, Austin Powers. I do a show for Comic Book, uh, and this is me as Dr. Evil last year. So, oh, I like yeah. you, Dr. Evil. Thank you, thank you. I don't know, I don't it's know if you can see it. It's a little too good, I think. <laughs> well, Chris, I mean, Chris, you're my comedy Chris, hero, and I, I don't want to make it weird, but I love you. I'm not worthy. So you are worthy, and thank you, and I love you. So thank you very much. Can I uh, ask you a question, Chris? Yes, absolutely. Who are you going to dress at Halloween this year? Uh, probably going to be uh, Mr. Scarborough. That's yeah. that's very good. Yeah. Is the right answer. Yes. Yeah, very good. Mike, you're one of the few comedic actors who can handle playing so many characters at once. I mean, it like you, Dana, Eddie Murphy, that's it. I can't think of anyone else. How long does it take to figure out the tics and mannerisms and looks of these individual characters when you're coming up with them? You know, there's always characters in me. This is the the thing. It's something I love to do. Um, you know, I I have a lot of heroes. Uh, certainly like you know, Dan Aykroyd, Peter Sellers, oh God, Gilda Radner. Uh, if everybody in the original cast, I feel I was more like Gilda Radner than anybody else. Um, Eddie Murphy, I love his characters. Um, it's something I've always done. And um, for me, uh, Martin Short, also a huge hero of mine. I have a character, every day though, I find new stuff. And usually in the makeup chair, the outside tricks the inside. So it's a it's a process of of exploring it. Tim was fantastic as a Lamaze birth doctor, getting these different characters out. And so we worked a lot. And Tim was very smart about making sure everybody had a unique silhouette on on the horizon, and that it was a variety. Um, and Mike was so quick. Once he embodies that character. He, he's, it's very quick. It's like uh, comedy on tap. You, it was so quick to come up with an alternative line. Um, I, I would understand the characters and say, you know, maybe we should try him saying this. And, you know, the, the improv that was coming out away from the script was superb. And a lot of that stuff's in there because once Mike locks in that character, it, you can just, it will just be free flowing. And, and that, was, that was the, the joy of the shoot because we, you know, we just try things because we can, because he's locked in. So he would just, it, out it would come. So we had so many options and... And for me, he had created such a great playground and I knew it was gonna be well covered and it was gonna be cinematic and stylish and it was. So I'm thrilled that, that Tim was part of it and uh, I could just focus because I knew that when we, we got to edit it, we would be more than well covered. And it was an embarrassment of riches. He's just really so thrilled that he's part of this. Well, Tim, I don't want to put you on the spot, but do you have a favorite Mike Myers character? And Mike, I want to ask you as well, if you had one character who's your absolute favorite to embody, I mean, who would it be? Well, I, I mean, I loved Anthony. I just thought his storyline was, uh, it, it, he kind of represented you know the 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 public in a way, and um and he was just the just the way when my <laughs> my was Anthony, I just would just crack up and he wouldn't even say anything. I mean, look, they're all fantastic. I lo I love Rex. I thought Rex again. That's another example of you know Mike just going off on one. You you know you had the lines, and once we're done with that, he just kept going and going and going, and it just you know the comedy diarrhea coming out. It was just right. gorgeous. But yeah, for me, Anthony, I love, and, and Lordington, of course. Lordington was sort of, you know, he, he was the kind of Harold Macmillan of the, uh, of the empire. Who was a British um, prime minister, by the way. Yeah. I'm the explainer. I'm, the, um, the I'm, like, I, I'm sure everybody's asking you this, but uh, can you please tell me that you're working on Austin Powers 4? You'll make my entire year if you tell me just like, even just a little like maybe, like anything, I, I, will, I will be uh, just, so I can neither confirm nor deny the existence or non-existence of such a program should it exist or not exist. Well, I like to think that the pentagram. I would love to. 
Thank you. I, I, I would like to think that the, the Pentaverate is taking place in this giant Mike Myers universe where all the characters coexist. Can either of you confirm the is, existence of the MMU? Oh, wow. It's interesting. No, I'll never forget where I was when I thought of it, though. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. You guys, uh, thank you so much. You're amazing. And please, I mean, this was just such a pleasure for me. I, you have oh, no idea. Thank, thank, thank you. you so much. Oh, 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 oh,